Good day. On behalf of my co-authors and I, I present to you a paper written by three by researchers from three universities in Russia, Ural Federal University, National Research University, and the National University of Science and Technology. Our paper is entitled Brain Tumor Detection in MRI Images Using Image Processing Techniques. To begin our paper, one of the world's increasing illnesses is brain tumors, especially within Asian countries, as highlighted by the WHO. Brain tumors are converted into brain cancer in the final stage and this leads to death. This can be treated and controlled by detection and its treatment in the initial stages. The best detection algorithm will always provide the best treatment. On one hand, manual detection of brain tumor from MRI images is time consuming and prone to inaccuracies on the part of human domain experts. Fully automatic brain tumor detection methods are more accurate and low cost as compared to manual segmentation techniques. The main purpose of this work was to design a fully automatic brain tumor method detection method developed using CNNs or convolutional neural networks from brain MRI images. Now in order to solve our research goal, the methodology is as follows. In the primary stage, the proposed method has been tested and evaluated on our own data sets from Bangladesh which contains 1,660 observations, of which 69% of them are MRI images with tumors and 31% of them are non-tumor MRI images. The image detection process consists of three stages. The first stage involves the splitting of data, which is based on random data splitting function. For detection, we divided our data sets into three phases or three segments for training testing and validation. The training data sets is for the training model, the validation is for the sample data and the evaluation is for the model. For the second stage of, of the methodology, we handle the optimization algorithm and the main purpose of opt optimization is to adjust the parameters to reduce wastage and we adopted the ADAM or the Adaptive Moment Estimation Optimizer. The third stage has to involve the CNN architecture. Now, as indicated in the image, this is the CNN architecture, which is the backbone of our research. We implemented a CNN architecture, which is made up of different layers, such as the convolutional layer, the activation layer, the max pooling layer, and the fully connected layer. Now let's dive into these four layers. The convolution layer is the first layer and it works as an input, where the, image, the input image is treated as an array of pixels, which depends on the resolution and the size of the image. The rectified linear units, the purpose of the rectify function is to increase the nonlinearity. The rectify function makes the images brighter and removes all dark elements, thus keeping only positive values. And the pooling layer, that's the third layer, basically reduces the dimensionality when the images are too large. So it converts three dimensional volume layers into one dimensional layers. Now the final layer, that's the fully connected layer. In the fully connected layer, two functions are performed. First of all, there is the flattening, and it is used to convert 2D matrices into one-dimensional arrays using the Keras library. Secondly, the dense function is used, which takes the numerous inputs to give one output, and the dense function calculates the probability score for each class and classifies the final decision whether the input MRI images consist of tumors or non-tumors. For our results, as presented in the graphs and the tables, based on our proposed model, we split our, our augmented data into training, validation, and testing into ratios of 70, 
15 and 15 respectively there are 1162 1, images for training and 249 for validation and 249 for testing of the of the model accuracy we trained the models for 30 epochs with a batch size of 10 the experiment was done using tensorflow and keras libraries in python on a gpu having 2.3 gigahertz core i5 processor with 8 gigabytes of ram for the first 10 epochs it is observed that the training loss was high and the training accuracy was low. After the 10 to the 20th epochs, the training loss and the training accuracy recorded approximately 0 and 1 respectively. The, tr the validation accuracy and the loss are varied without attaining stability. The validation accuracy is observed to be 0 0.92 to 0 0.94 and the validation loss varied from 0 0.5 to 0 0.6. We calculated the accuracy and the F1 score of the proposed CNN model as seen in the table. To summarize our work, brain tumor analysis using medical imaging is complicated, complex and challenging, which can be categorized into pre-processing, post-processing steps based and based on our research, we highlight the following advantages. The first advantage is that it's cost effective in the sense that, for the, especially for developing countries such as Bangladesh, where medical treatment is costly and, and medical equipment is also costly, doctors and experts are uh, low in number. And as such, such methods will be able to contribute a lot to the medical world in developing economies by allowing doctors to monitor patients at a lower cost. Secondly, one other benefit is the time efficiency, that is the reduction in time for analysis and early diagnosis as well as a better accuracy. Due to the limitations of compute power we propose that for future research, higher computing power should be used for such intense research in order to get quicker results and better accuracy. Also, we propose that researchers involve or implement novel methods in answering this question to improve upon the process and the efficiency. Thank you for listening to our presentation.